Um, I've been in, in the league for a long time, so I'm, I'm aware of the rules. I am not allowed to speak of any draft, you know, ineligible young man of 17, so I will not comment on him. How would you assess the way the select team performed? The select team was great. They were, uh, both days, they've been fantastic. They did exactly what we had hoped, uh, challenged us, um, were physical, Ran a lot of the, the stuff that the European teams will run. Um, it really uh, couldn't have worked out any better in terms of um, the select team helping us prepare for um, for what's ahead. You know, a lot of the big score and all that. Awesome. How much do you need? Yes. How much do you need these moments of little bit of events at the end? Yeah, I mean. You, this is our third day of practice, so um, all we're doing right now is kind of putting in preliminary offensive structure stuff, uh, working on some defensive uh, schemes, and trying to get our legs under, out, you know, underneath us. So um, we're nowhere near ready to play at a high level. I know we play Canada in two days, but um, this is um, this is three days into camp, so we're we're where we should be, and we got a lot of good stuff on tape to show the guys where we have to make improvement. Yeah, it's fun coaching Kawhi, just uh, seeing him up close, uh, just the physicality, the strength, the, uh, the skill. Um, and it, it's great to see him you know, back on the court. And, and uh, this has been his first real live action you know, um, since the end of the, the NBA season. So he's, he's just getting his rhythm and his conditioning too, uh, like, like most of the guys. But it's good to see him out there healthy and playing. And yeah, I lean on Ty 
every day for a lot of things, but um, particularly when it comes to uh, Kawhi, I'll go to I'll go to Ty first and ask him his thoughts. Uh, today was the first day out of the first three that um, that we've played them together in the scrimmage. So uh, it's fun to see them together. Their games complement each other's uh, perfectly. Um, I think they're really enjoying it, just watching them. I know that I know they like playing together, and they've been such um, incredible competitors over the years. So it's nice for them to finally compete on the same side. <laughs> I mean, it's an incredible honor to to be the Olympic team coach. Um, only a, a handful of people in our country's history have been able to, uh, you know, claim that they were the Olympic team coach. It's it's an incredible uh, privilege, and um, I'm excited about coaching these guys. They're great players. They're great people. I think they go about it in a really classy way. I think our country is going to be very proud of our team. Uh, but we've got to, i got to coach them, you know, and they've, they've got to get better. They know that. We've got to get better as a staff, and every day we're, we're focused on that. Yeah, I mean, I think we focus on um, what we know um, is going to beat us in a FIBA game, you know. Um, I'm not going to jump on the guys for, you know, just a, a mistake that they might make, um, you know, dribbling the ball out of bounds, or making a bad pass. I'm not going to really jump on them for that. I'm going to jump on them for FIBA mistakes. And... Uh, there's a different, it's a different game entirely. And the rules are different, the rhythm, the flow. Um, all these players are used to getting 15, 20 shots a game. They might only get five or six. There's a, so they, they have to get acclimated to FIBA and, and to this style. And that's what the preparation is all about, is trying to get them to, to understand what, what wins and what loses a FIBA game. And um, they want to be coached, you know, all great players actually want to be coached they, they don't want to be coddled and uh, these guys um, I can call any of them out in a film session I can say you got to do this you got to do that and they want that they they, they want to learn they want to grow and they want to get better Talking about Drew, you said? Book. Oh, book, book. Um, yeah, book was great in Tokyo. Um, he's the perfect example of a guy who, in an NBA game, he's going to get 20 shots every night. And in FIBA, you know, in 21 in Tokyo, he was more of a defender, ball mover, but um, did a great job and was um, one of our key players. So that's why he's back here. Um, we knew how much uh, we needed him, and uh, I'm so impressed with Book's ability to. Um, to understand that, recognize the role change, but still, you know, hit the big shot and, and be, you know, uh, looking forward to a big moment. So Book, Book's a perfect FIBA guy. I know you guys, how does it help to have that trust in the experience knowing that he will be, he won't have a problem with that. Yeah, the, the, the experience helps dramatically because of the different rule changes and uh, rule differences, interpretations, that sort of thing, but also the rhythm, rhythm and the flow. It's great to have Book, Drew, Bam, Jason, Kevin, you know, LeBron, all these guys who have played a lot of FIBA. Uh, they, you know, they, they don't need as much uh, time to adapt to this. Well, he's a great passer uh, out of the low post. Uh, very dominant scorer down there. I think the difference for Joel will be, you know, we're going to ask him to be down near the hoop more maybe than he is in the NBA. You know, he spends a lot of time at the foul line area, and he's good there, and he'll get the ball there for us too. 
but his physicality, his ability to score um, here in, in the FIBA game is going to be really important for us. I think after you win the first one, I think you have a little bit more uh, confidence, a deeper level of confidence. To me, that that first time that you try to repeat is um, is actually a little bit easier. But if you do it a couple times, you're exhausted. You know, you, you try to do it a third time, a fourth. You go to the finals three, four, or five times in a row. It's utterly exhausting. Uh, but if you win, you got a deeper level of confidence than you had before, and I think that that really matters to teams. Thanks.